What's up guys? Today was a big day for Sabine's story arc. So come on with me and find out what happened on today's Rebels Recap. The episode starts with Fen Rao telling Kanan that Sabine needs to use the Darksaber to unite the Mandalorian clans against the Empire, to which Sabine strongly, strongly disagrees, saying the only family she needs is basically right there with her. Nevertheless, she agrees to train with Kanan and Ezra to prepare for the upcoming reunion with her Mandalorian brethren. Side note, you can really see the difference in this episode as far as Ezra and Sabine's relationship. Ezra is joking around and just messing with Sabine kind of like a brother would this whole episode um, and that's a lot different compared to his normal more sheepish or softer approach to her. So I thought that was pretty cool. But back to the recap. So Kanan starts off training her with uh, training sabers um, or in this case they're actually just really really big sticks. But after it seemed futile, after a while, she wasn't progressing, wasn't learning, Kanan was just besting her way too easily. He lets Ezra take over and teach her the forms, which it was nice to see the forms in here. And also, um, her and Ezra basically spar for a little bit until Fen Rao comes with supplies and drops off a special surprise for Sabine, which is a pair of Mandalorian vanguards. Van bracers. Ah, uh, vanguards. So yeah, those are pretty freaking cool, man. So she has a couple different things on there, like a uh, whip, darts, whatever. But basically, she uses them to best Ezra in their little sparring sessions because Ezra was just toying with her, easily beating her every time. And then she gets a little bit overconfident and uses it on Kanan, who immediately just whips out his lightsaber, breaks the whip that she tied him up with, and he gets a little bit upset, showing her exactly why the Jedi beat the Mandalorians in that war. So Sabine goes off in a rage calling Kanan a bad teacher, which, you know, she's not all that wrong. He's a new teacher and, you know, he's only really trained Ezra, so he, he is an apprentice at teaching. Um, but so Sabine goes off and Ezra tries to come console her while she sits on Bendu like a bench unknowingly. And she tells Ezra that basically about her fears of facing her family uh, and her clan and the responsibility of uniting them together is just so much on her basically and she's just scared to do all that and it's weighing down on her. Meanwhile, Kanan's talking to Hera because he's obviously frustrated with how Sabine's not progressing, how she's uh, so hard to train, she's not disciplined, all of that stuff that you look for in a Jedi trainee. And Basically, she gives him the advice to take the training gloves off, give her the dark saber instead of the training sticks. That way, she can fully commit. So, when Sabine returns, she wields the dark saber, and Kanan and her do some practice sparring. During which, Kanan pushes her, mentally antagonizing her to open up and face her fears. Eventually, she bests Kanan in the duel and opens up about how she made the Empire's weapons that helped shackle the Mandalorians to the Empire. When her family had a choice between her and the Empire. They ended up choosing the Empire, so she left uh, to join the Rebels to basically undo what she felt she did. She felt she was responsible for the Mandalorians uh, being slaves to the Empire and then choosing the Empire as their uh, over her. So she wants them to fight. She left so that she could fight the Empire to basically free her Mandalorians from their own prison that they made for themselves or that she feels like she made. But anyway, her rebel family stands ready to help her through the coming trials, and they basically let her know that Fenral says he will follow her, and Kanan says no matter what happens, um, her real family is always right here. And they stand with her ready to go to her Mandalorian home and see what happens next. Review time! So, the episode was really, really, really emotional for Sabine, and we learned a lot more about her backstory with her family. Um, Taya Sarkar's performance in this episode was fantastic. You really actually connected with Sabine. I felt just so connected with her and on a way more emotional level than normal for, especially for Rebels. Um, it was definitely a deeper, a deeper episode where the voice cast was just fantastic at portraying it the way it meant to be portrayed. It didn't sound lighthearted. It didn't, uh, it, it didn't sound like you know it just sounded amazing and it sounded something like to sounded like something you could really relate to um and you know kanan also had some character development in this episode he his eagerness to teach he you can tell he wants to teach but 
I mean, he's only trained Ezra, and through this episode, he kind of learned that basically you have to train people a little bit different, you know, so he had to adapt his teaching to Sabine more than the way he thought it should be taught. So, and I mean, Hera helped him, of course, come to that decision, but when does she not give Kanan great advice? So, I mean, but it was cool seeing Kanan go through that different process of learning how to teach with Sabine versus how he learned, how he taught Ezra and, you know, how he looked at Sabine a little bit differently. He was more cautious and more overly protective of Sabine because she doesn't have the force or she's, or more correctly, she's not in tune with the force, which is also another cool thing. He did mention that, you know, uh, every living thing has the force in them. They just have to open up to it. And he was basically saying all the stuff going through Sabine prevents her from opening up to the force. So that was a really cool little segment Kanan had. And, you know, kind of seemed like he's, he really believed Sabine can basically use the force if she just trains, if she just opens up and, and kind of controls her emotions a little bit more. That part was really cool and a whole different thing. Um, but I mean, the episode's music was on point too. You could tell just so much work went in this episode uh when they were sparring i think that was some of the best lightsaber action i've seen in rebels since uh probably the darth vader finale of season two it this this even though they were sparring it the lightsaber just the movements were amazing i really love seeing how the different forms were really showcased in this episode as well as uh sabine's mando gauntlets making an appearance was pretty cool i definitely want to see see sabine with jetpack Full, full armor, jetpack, gloves, or gauntlets, and everything, and the helmet. But um, back to the sparring scene, just watching that last sparring scene was great. I think I watched it like four times, just observing the movements of Kanan and Sabine as they just kind of sparred around a little bit. And it was just really, really, really good. The animation was really good for that. Um, but yeah, so as you can tell, I definitely enjoyed it, and I can't wait for the next one. Although, unfortunately, the next episode doesn't actually air until February 18th, so we'll be waiting here quite a while. But, guys, remember to check out my other content right here on the screen. We have last week's Rebels recap and a rant video about Rebels being all fillers. I'll see you guys next time.